Hi there, these comments are for MA and I am Michael from OTC Online TOEFLCourse.com and I'm getting ready to listen to your speaking practice test. So I have the rubrics right here and guess what? One of my students from last month, uh, she got 29 out of 30 points on the speaking and the one main thing that she did really well on was delivery. Her delivery, her pronunciation was almost like a native speaker. So that's one of the tips. The, the clearer you speak, the more natural you sound, the higher your score is going to be on the speaking section of the TOEFL IBT, and that is a fact. Okay, so let's listen to your practice test here. Let's see how you did. In the talk, the educator discusses co-evolution. The first example is about honeybird and bird pollinating flowers. This flower has a sweet nectar which is considered as a high energy food for birds. In addition, shapes of flowers is important to bird's vision. Moreover, flower shape is important also for bird beak. The second example is about acacia and and acacia trees. Acacia trees has a huge trunk where the ants can live. On the other hand, acacia ants usually protect the trees from any plant eating ants or any plants can compete acacia tree with sunlight. Accordingly, Two species are rely on each other to live and survive. In the talk, the educate. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, I think on this one, quite a few delivery issues. You're speaking too slowly, so you have what I call some fluidity of expression. But you do have a lot of pauses in there, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, I think topic development, it doesn't sound much like a summary. A summary, it frames information from the speaker or the, the author's point of view. You do say something in the beginning that attributes your source, but you need to keep mentioning either the speaker from the lecture or the author from the reading passage so that we know that this is indeed a summary. So your score here, I'm going to put you at fair 2.5 to 3. I'm going to say maybe 18 to 19 points out of 30 on this. Uh, let's listen to it one more time. In the took, the edu... In the took. What does took mean? Kator discusses co-evolution. In the took, the educator discusses co-evolution. Oh, you want to say in the talk talk interest i got it talk 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 okay so in the lecture the first example is about honeybird and bird pollinate it's just saying the first example say the professor gives an example to define to help the audience understand the concept so make sure you're mentioning the Pink professor flowers. the speaker this flower has a sweet nectar which is considered as a this flower has a sweet nectar, not nectar, but nectar, nectar. So be careful of your R's. I want you to review the R consonant sound in the pronunciation section of my course. I think you need High to work on that. High energy food for birds. In addition, shapes of flowers is important. Shapes of flowers are important because you use shapes, which is plural, so you need a plural to subject. bird's vision. Moreover, flower shape is important also for bird beak. So, moreover, a flower shape is important to its beak. So the problem is you're, you're so careful trying to pronounce every word, that that's what you're doing. You're pausing, all, uh, uh, you're pausing after almost every word and that kills your pacing, right? So you have to group ideas into groups of say four or five stressed syllables, not one or two stressed syllables or stressed words. The second example is about acacia and, and acacia trees. 
Acacia trees has a huge trunk. However, I think you want to say acacia. acacia the ants tree. can live. On the other hand, acacia ants usually protect the trees from any plant eating ants or any plants can compete acacia tree with sunlight. Accordingly, two species are rely on each other to live and survive in the two. Okay, so uh, I think that my score is pretty accurate. I'll say around 18 to 19 points out of 30. You need major improvements in delivery. And then I think you can make some improvements with um, your topic development. So with the topic development, go to my seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. Go to the speaking section. I want you to review the lesson. It's called TOEFL Integrated Strategies. I think it's TOEFL Integrated Strategies lesson number one. And then go to Integrated Task number four. And I want you to to get some ideas on how you can organize the lecture. When you're talking about a lecture, what's a good way to organize that so that you remember to include your voice markers in different parts of, of your response there so that it sounds more like a summary. All right, so delivery, I told you to review the R consonant sound. I think that's good. You need to also review what's called thought groups and blending. This helps you with your pacing, especially blending. This is a pronunciation lessons 41 through 44. That's another one that you should work on. But generally, for example, you said talk, talk, but you want to say talk. So you're having problems, I think, also with your vowel sounds. And you're not quite sure what vowel sound represents. When you see a word or you're thinking of a word in your mind, you're not sure. That you understand the spelling, but you don't know how to represent the sound to that spelling. So I think practicing more in the pronunciation area of my course, that will gradually help you get more used to what's called the sound spelling patterns of American English. All right.